I'm going to just tell you how it works. Then, if you negotiate and you come to an impasse, they take you to arbitration, mediation first, and then you go to arbitration. Well, that's all I have. And how that works, <laughs> there are just a number of arbitrators that the TBA, we have to agree to it, but we're like 21 towns in Orange County. There's only one PBA. So, if the arbitrator, and I'm not saying this is, I'm just telling you how it works. The arbitrator is going, I mean, he likes to be called as an arbitrator because they get 12, 15, whatever the price is per day. Well, they rule in favor of the towns, and I'm sure they're all fair, and the PBA doesn't select them anymore. So, you have a small pool of arbitrators, you have impasse, the town says we'd like a fair hearing, the PBA says, well, here are the three we'll all agree upon, yeah. But if, if, if they don't rule, I mean, it's, it's a cockeyed system. It's not like lottery where you say, okay, here's a pool of arbitrators, let's pick one. The PBA recommends it, you, 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 you agree to it, and that's it. Does that structure only apply to the PDA or are there other uh, we, employee groups? The CSEA is not governed. We have a contract. We can open the old contract. We can do anything we want. We negotiate everything. And it's fine. And the police contract, that's what it is. I want to go, and, 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 and they love to go to arbitration because and the arbitrators, you know, will, okay, they like to get the work and they're going to make sure. It's, it's, a, it's a skewed system. And this has nothing to do with us in Goshen. When I say nothing to do, I'm not complaining about our situation. I'm just complaining about the structure. Does that apply only to towns or towns and villages? Towns, villages, all the all the all the all the all the It's called binding arbitration. Yeah. You know, that's what it is. So it, in other words, it's not like, oh, you know, thank you very much, Mr. Yeah. Arbitrator. It's binding. Once he makes his decision, you're done. That's that's it. It. I, I meant the uh, the system of no give back. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, that's that's not, it's, 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 it's give off. back if they want to give right. back. But, but the, so the point is, no matter what, if they go to impasse, they look for impasse. They go to impasse. The arbitrator says, "Oh, yeah. I mean, he may give. He'll give you. Sometimes he'll give more than was requested." <laughs> it's like, <laughs> you know, have you stopped giving your wife? How do you answer that? that. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't answer that question. I know. So, you didn't answer that I mean, it's just, you just answer yes or no, right? It's like, it was a press conference. Okay. Oh, anyway. Uh, sorry, yeah, I don't know what I'm saying, but that's how it is. Mr. Boss. Got a microphone? Yeah, we can. I got to have it if I really want to be on the record. Yeah. Right here. Right here. Hello, hello. Yeah, take this one. Yeah, yeah, this is loud and clear. This is a power seat. That's the power seat. Oh, you got to sit. Mr. Duplicate. I'd like to plead guilty, and I'd like to do a year somewhere. In college? Yeah. Big college. Cabo? Let's see. Item F. Double lenses on here. AD, ADC Orange. That's another. Isn't that another name for uh, Maplewood? Yeah. And they are going to be before the board for a planned adult community. Correct. This is the same as Timber Ridge. Correct. They also are looking for a PAC. No. Yeah. The fact that they're that's not part of their that they're both right. looking for a PAC. Right. Yeah. Right. And it's only part of their development. But it is up to this board whether or not to let them go forward with these packs. Especially use yep. And if you do rule yes, then it goes to the planning board. Well, actually, as of uh, Monday night, including uh, Timber Rip, Timber Trail, it's going to be sent to the planning board, and it's going to be jointly reviewed with us as well as the planning board, as they were saying at the end of the public hearing. Yeah, but we get more final yes or no. Yeah, no, on the no special use. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. If they have no special use, then there was no planning board. Okay. I spoke several times about the tax certs and the fact that the Honorable Judge Catherine Bartlett, not Barlett, and the record should be corrected. The town attorney keeps referring to her as Barlett. Her name is Catherine Bartlett. 
this is the name she's used in her many runs for offices, whatever. I found it problematic that she, Miss Bartlett, Judge Bartlett, Bartlett, was going to hear these cases. And I laid it out at least two to three times before the board. The last time I spoke about this, I had asked the town attorney, Mr. Kaplicki, to give me a legal opinion as to whether or not Joe Bartlett can hear this, due to the fact she's a taxpayer in the town, the village, and also the school district. Monday, the town attorney, Dennis Kaplicki, stopped and we had a brief conversation where he told me that Judge Bartlett was going to recuse herself from hearing these cases. But now I'm hearing from other sources that may not be the fact. Has the town attorney discussed this with you at all about his findings that have been here on this situation? No, when you, when, was one yeah. no, when you brought that up, uh, Jerry, was it two meetings or three meetings ago? Yes, it's on the record. Yeah, no, I understand. Yeah. There, there hasn't been any discussion with us as far as uh, she was going to be re reclusing herself or hearing the cases or anything along that line. That was in the process of being worked out. We haven't heard any definitive word. Okay, so other than what you have more of the... Dennis had told me. Yes, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You, okay. had, uh, you had more information than I had about that, even that she was going to excuse herself from it. The other thing that uh, I want to talk about is Chief Marsh's 211 waiver. Is there any updates on what the update on that is? See, that's too bad. I, I, wish, you, I wish you had, uh, we had talked before, because I, I don't want to say, I mean, I, I think I know where it stands, but I'm not positively sure, because I haven't seen any written word. Mm -hmm. Do you have any comments on it? No, I haven't seen anything in writing, but the way I understand it is that they granted it 211 until the end of August. They gave it a two-month extension. Right. Now, the point is, and I am also uh, uh, gives the impression that he will stay on as police chief without the 211 waiver. Once again, the waiver portion has nothing to do with us. It's Correct. stayed in his retirement. So we're more concerned as to if he's going to stay with us. Please, Chief, then we won't go and solicit and go out and do the, the, uh, the whole solicitation to get the police chief because he has the job. So, uh, so in other words, if, if Chief Marsh, Marsh decides to litigate this, that he is being discriminated against, and I have to agree with him on this, yeah, that you have many ex-law enforcement, yeah. you have the uh, executive aide to Mr. Diana, the former Colonel O'Donnell, he's on a waiver. You also have uh, Kenneth Jones, the undersheriff, he is on a waiver. The investigators for the district attorney's office, also on waivers. Investigators for the attorney general's office, also on waivers. I don't believe any of these that I have spoken about have taken civil service tests as Chief Marsh has and passed and is a civil service chief. It seems to be discriminatory that you can pick and choose. And this is a great case for my friend, uh, Mr. Sussman. Well, uh, that would be option to go to, the, to Mr. Sussman. I think he could yeah. wind up there. I mean, we, we can't say anything. That's totally okay. Another, but on a personal, mm -hmm. on a personal, I agree with you. I, I agree. Yeah. But not as a board member. Right. But right. You know, personal opinion. But my personal, I, I totally agree. I really do. Well, but I guess, George, you're the, you're the hat here tonight. Um, would you please ask Mr. Kaplicki if he would render an opinion or get an opinion about Ms. Bartlett, certainly Judge will. Bartlett, I certainly will ask him. Yeah, because yeah, I, I, I really, I, I feel that if we go forward and she hears these cases and we lose, or we win, I should say, the plaintiffs may have grounds for appeal using 
that as an appeal, Dennis brought up, and, and he was right, when the Al Turi tax cert went before Judge uh, Dave Ritter, Ritter made it known, I am a taxpayer, 